Do you have any directing aspirations? Would you like to tell them what kind of shots you want? Oh, these guys? No, they gotta cover. <laughs> I do want to direct, but not not these guys. They're pros. You do want to direct? Yes, I do. Already? Yeah, I've, I've always wanted to get behind the camera since I was little. So what do you learn when you're on a set, particularly one like this where it's 3D and you've got this in exotic locale and a great cast? Yeah, on this, you know, you learn a, lot about the, learn a lot about the technicality behind filmmaking because with the 3D elements, you have to kind of sometimes, like, there'll be a leaf in the front of the shot and you have to move that leaf out of the way because it'll look too crazy because only one eye would capture it. It's all technical stuff, but it, it's cool to kind of get behind the camera and, learn, and learn, those, learn those elements. Well, I did get to go to the Lost in Atlanta set. Oh, nice. Gorgeous. Yes, very. So how much did the location have to do with doing this movie? It had a lot to do with it. I think Hawaii added a ton to this movie, not only uh, visually and, and physically, but also uh, emotionally. I think that it has kind of this sort of laid back, sort of aloha spirit that the whole crew was able to tap into. So therefore, like amidst the madness of running around from a giant lizard on set, you could step off and, and kind of just calm down. It was nice. Well, and especially getting the script and they're saying, yes, we're gonna have to shoot this in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. I mean, that had to help you make a yeah. decision. Oh, for sure, for sure. No, when I, when I, when I heard we were shooting down here, I was, I was all about it. Well, let's talk about your character. You, you're back. I mean, that's I the way, I, I mean, and you've grown up. Mm -hmm. So how, how was that to put this boy's sandals back on? Uh, it was good. It was, it was really fun. You know, Sean uh, was always a very adventurous guy, and he's kind of been stuck uh, in Dayton, Ohio, and not been able to really get out there and explore like he wants to. So he's sort of going crazy, and he's also dealing with his stepdad's relationship and whatnot. So he has a lot to go through in this story, and that was a lot more fun to play for me. Okay, three generations. Mm -hmm. You've got... Dwayne mm -hmm. Johnson is your dad, Michael Caine as your grandfather, and you're kind of stuck in the middle. Yeah. So how, how, tell me about shooting with them. It was amazing. I mean, Dwayne, he's such a big physical guy that at first you could be easily intimidated, but then you meet him and he's super down to earth, super nice, and just a really genuine person. And Michael Caine, I mean, the guy's like pushing 80 years old and he has more energy than all of us. And, and to see somebody like that at that age who's that accomplished just gives you a lot of confidence as a young actor to know that maybe one day I can be like that. Did he ever give you advice? Not so much. I mean, for me, it was just sort of watching him and seeing how he, he always rehearsed his lines uh, a ton and like really knew his words and was able to kind of play with them and, and almost like orchestrate them. It was really, really cool. Then, of course, there's the other family dynamic, mm -hmm. Luis Guzman and Vanessa Hudgens, yes. who says she's a good old friend of yours. Y'all yes. have known each other for a long time. Um, so th they're button heads. But I would think Luis must have been hysterical to work with because he's always probably going off, right? He is. He's, he's an improv king. So to watch him and to try to keep up with him was uh, very fun and funny. There's a lot of outtakes, a lot of laughing going on. And Vanessa was great. I mean, she's so fun and bubbly and, and free-spirited that we can just have fun all day long and dance around and sing on set. It was, it was a lot of fun. There had to be some challenges, though, given the fact that you are in a tropical location mm -hmm. and you're dealing with a lot of things that aren't really there. No, for sure. I mean, there was the, the weather was a big element for us. It was very hot and humid a lot of the time. Uh, it rained a lot, so we had a lot of mud and, and dirt to deal with. And then uh, the CG elements were tough. You had to really use your imagination and kind of just let go and go for it. More so than the first time then, right? Yeah, no, I don't think so. I okay. think it was probably similar to the first one as far as the amount. I mean, in the first one, honestly, technology wasn't advanced, so we had more green screen, actually. This one was just more... Uh, things that weren't there that you had to imagine were there. But okay. it was still still a challenge. Well, of course, what are we going to have next? Sean in college, maybe? Uh, maybe. I think, uh, if anything, at the end of this movie, uh, they talk about going off to the moon, so maybe it'll be something like that, a little lunar lunar experience. That would be nice. Yeah. I, we'll, we'll junk it there, maybe. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Your career is mm -hmm. really taking off. It, I mean, it has since the first journey, then you did The Kids Are All Right, mm -hmm. you've had several other projects in between. This, and then, of course... Hunger Games. Yes, it's so going to be a exciting. big year for you. What, what, what's, what's going through your head right now as you start this year? Because everything's going to change. Yeah, you know, for me, I think it's just I'm going to keep on doing what I've always done, and that's you know, love, love what I do, and, and keep on making movies and have a good time doing them, and that's sort of my goal. I, I don't, I don't want to think too much about it because I'll kind of go crazy maybe if I do. So I'm just sort of along for the ride. How do you pick your projects now that people know who you are? It's all about script for me. It's all about the script and the characters. You know, finding something that I, I feel like I connect with or something I don't connect with and I want to try to find out how I, can, how I can get there emotionally. How do you get there emotionally? It depends. I mean, with a, with a movie like Journey 2, uh, it, the character I can pull very much from my own experiences and my own adventurous side and kind of just turn that one on full blast. 
Uh, but then there's also elements like with, with the stepfather where I, I don't have that kind of relationship and I, I kind of rely on the script and, and the creative people behind the, the writing and, and directing to really kind of guide me to the right place. Is there some place that you would want to go that probably doesn't exist? I, I don't know if I'm asking this right, but you know, kind of like a mysterious island, but is there some place in your mind that, wow, if I could just go there? Like an underwater world would be really cool. Cause I love being underwater. Uh, I, I could live in the ocean and, and to be someplace, I don't know how it's possible like you were saying, <laughs> but like if it were like humans could breathe underwater or if there was like a city that was built underwater, that would be, that'd be amazing. You did have some underwater shots. We did, Now yeah. Was that really underwater? It was, yeah. Cause that looked like it. Yeah, no, we were. We had to get scuba certified actually for this role. So that was a very fun experience. Do you like to? I'm a diver too. I oh, love, great. What yeah. do you think? I love it. I think it's great. I, I had never done it before. I'd always wanted to. So to get my certification was a, a big thing for me. It's not easy either. No, but I, we did it in like three days. We did it in three days, like a fast track accelerated course. And it, I think being underwater as a scuba diver mm -hmm. is probably as close to being on the moon. Don't you think when you're... Totally. I, yeah. I mean, not only like, there's the kind of weightlessness feeling at times, but also like the, the creatures are like foreign and, and alien at times. So it's pretty, it's pretty like, much like another, another world down there. Kind of like this movie. Exactly. What was your favorite part? See, I love the elephants. Yeah, they were great. The, actually, it's funny. When we shot the elephant scene, we actually used a pug. There was like a little dog that ran out and would like stand on the mark and we'd pick the dog up and like interact with it as if it were a small elephant. And that's why it looked real. Exactly, yeah. yeah. It really looked real. Yeah. Well, have you seen the movie? I, mean, I have, yes. The 3D is amazing. The 3D is incredible. No, it's amazing to see how far the technology has come since Journey 1. Because, I mean, Journey 1, we had just kind of parked the cameras there and we couldn't really move them. Uh, but in this one, we're taking them underwater. We're throwing them on the back of like four wheelers and jerking them around. So it was uh, much more immersive for sure. Well, that's certainly an education, isn't it? Yeah, this was... very much so. Well, very we'll much keep so. up the good work.